Well, as e-commerce revenue grows, our next guest found a different way for retailers to contact you through messaging apps to receive automated marketing messages on sales and much more. Joining us now to talk more on this is Headliner Labs co-founder and CEO, Caroline Sternklatt. Thank you for coming in, Caroline. Thank you for having me. Um, and thank you, Simeon, for uh, telling us about uh, this company. So um, basically, you, get te you send out texts, you send out me various messages. Um, how does it all work? Are you hired by the retailers to do this. Yes. So my background, I worked for many different retailers in digital marketing. And basically what everyone's come to realize is that their customers are on a lot of different platforms, right? There's email, but there's also text and Facebook Messenger and Instagram and WhatsApp. And so brands are trying to understand how to really connect their customers in the right and most relevant channels for each customer where they can open it, read it, convert the way they want to. And so we work with retailers. We work with the brands, with Saks. And we're showing Rohan, some of them right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A whole range of brands um, that want to connect with their customers. They, they work with our platform to use our technology to send out those messages. And so we're taught that change is bad. How do you convince the retailers to come into this new generation and to embrace sort of technology? We meaning traditional retailers. Collective, collectively. We the humans, <laughs> we the world, whatever it is, change is not something easy to it's stomach. scary, yes. So as you think about walking into that meeting, how are you finding that conversation going, saying technology may have hurt you, Amazon may have disrupted, but now we can help? Shockingly, I'm going to say something that's very unusual. I actually find that traditional retailers have been even more receptive to this than the digital disruptors and the digital natives. I think it's because they really recognize that they need to catch up on digital. Um, but we talk to brands who, we, they get it. Like they understand that their shopper is different. Um, he or she is not necessarily in store as much as she used to be. They're not answering emails, which was the primary digital channel. They're harder to reach. They're more fragmented. They expect what they want, when they want it, where they want it. And yeah, we find that traditional retailers are actually like really eager to find solutions. I, I get that you're growing. It's not going to stop growing. But how do you deal with the, the backlash perhaps from a customer like me, a Luddite, who gets the ad on my, my cell phone or on the computer and it's interfering with what I'm really trying to do. The example I use is we bought new sheets two months ago, still getting the pop-ups which then block my ability to read the article I want to read. Super annoying. I agree with you. Uh, what we do is actually messaging. So you on a website, on a Kohan, would opt in to getting messages via a different channel and then we would send messages that are relevant to you and we're connected to the CRM and the system so I would know if you had come on and purchased sheets and we wouldn't trigger messages reminding you about those. I think that the big problem in digital advertising is that it wasn't super smart previously. Yeah. Because you, you, know, you spent a lot of time on the show talking about AI and why having intelligent systems is really important. The worst thing you could do for a customer is send them the same advertisements for over things they already bought. And They're over. not going to buy another set of <laughs> right. sheets. So it's a waste you. of your dollars as a retailer, it's a waste of your time, and it's just creating a bad experience. All right, we have to leave it there. Caroline, thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. Headliner Labs co founder and CEO, Caroline Sternklatt.